Good morning, your docs and all our friends. Thank you for tuning in. And it is today, the 27th of July. It's winter, it's really cold. And on this day, I want to talk to you about a big heart. If I should ask the question, how big is your heart? How much space is there in your heart? That's, that's the question. I want to read a verse that addresses this issue. In 2 Corinthians 6 verse 12 to 13 we read, We have spoken freely to you, Corinthians. Our wide hearts is wide open. Paul says we have wide hearts. You are not restricted by us, but you are restricted in your own affections. In return, widen your hearts also. So he, he says, listen, you, you don't have big hearts. Widen your hearts. Open up your hearts. Now, I want you to realize that in this passage, the topic is sanctification. They needed to become more holy. You see, sin has, is always self-centered. It, it seeks its own interests. And Paul is saying, I want you to exchange that attitude. That heart for a different heart, a heart that is widened. So how do you get a bigger heart? Also interesting, in this passage, if you read the first verses of this chapter, you will see that Paul speaks of all the hardships and suffering that they experienced. And the point is this suffering as a way of widening our hearts. If we think of of what we experienced in the last two years, if we think of what we experienced in the last few weeks with the riots, I've seen that suffering as a way and has the ability to open our hearts if we allow it to. It was such a blessing to see how communities widened their hearts for each other. In Pongola, they were able to defend themselves because the whole community stood together over cultural barriers. People open their hearts, sit around the table and say, what are we going to do to help our town? And there was a widening that took place in their hearts. What a wonderful to see that. When I think about COVID and when people get sick, people who call, um, make help each other with food, then I just realized that hardship can widen our hearts, but we should allow that to happen. I really trust in Doxa that when we look back in a year or two and COVID is something of the past and the riots are something of the past, that we will look back and say and confess that God did a miracle, not around us, but in us. He widened our hearts. Let's allow the suffering and the pain around us to widen our hearts and make room for the people around us. Let's pray together. Lord Jesus, we just realized this morning that we need you to widen our hearts and, and, and help us to widen our hearts for the people around us. Use us to reach out, to encourage, to protect and to care for the people around us. We pray that you will do that in us. In Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for tuning in. God bless.